welcome to my new episode, Nick the Sailor Man, the only episode which is in regards to LNG carriers and of course sea. Who doesn't love the sea and the ocean? So today I am here at the cargo manifolds on the port side where I'm going to explain to you what we actually have on our cargo manifolds. So right here, as you can see on my back, I've got five big valves. The one in yellow is for the vapor and the four blue ones are for the liquid cargo. What happens here? Well, money comes in, money comes out. So basically, we load the cargo in these, uh, in these arms. So we do have, as you see, these four arms in order to load the cargo and to discharge it. But what happens with the vapor? Well, the vapor generates inside when you load the cargo and of course you have to send it somewhere. So the shore facility, when you're doing the operations, will have to receive it. This is done by flow through method or of course using a high duty compressor. The high duty compressor is something which I will show you in my future videos. For the time being though, let's stick here in the manifold area and let me explain further. So what happens is, the loading arm comes from ashore and makes attach to this place here. These bolts here need to be removed and then the arm will come and make fast around the uh, liquid uh, STP, the short distance point. So as it will make fast, we will require to make a cool down. A cool down is only done on the liquid arms. On the vapor arm, you won't require to do anything at all. So in order to say that we are ready to go, this thing will need to be frozen. So it will take about an hour to do that and that will be done or by the shore side by supplying LNG or by the ship side by of course supplying LNG. So let's explain what are here. As you may see, there's a big valve. This is the uh, liquid ESD valve for the uh, four. So, I'm at the uh, vapor ESD valve. What we can find here? We can find the ESD valve itself. It's this yellow valve and it's operated from inside, from the cargo control room, via the IAS, the Integrated Automated System, Kongsberg, as we have on board our vessel. So you can open and close that valve, which is open uh, with hydraulics. And of course, it can be done manually in case of an emergency. So that's the one part. What we have here, this is the manometer. The manometer is exactly at this point, And what you can do with it is you can see the pressure that is kept inside the line. So if you want, from the uh, CCTV camera, you can establish what is the pressure inside the line. At all times when we are at sea, just remember that we keep the piece from the closed valve towards the STP pressurized. How much pressure you'll put inside? Well, that depends. Some people do put four bars. We put five. So we keep five bars. And if you see that this is dropping, then you may have a leakage or you may have not tightened up the bolts correctly. So what do we have next here? Here, you bring the uh, hose and you connect the nitrogen in order to pressurize nitrogen inside. Nitrogen, as I've said in other videos, is the main engine in order to make an atmosphere safe. So, regard safe, what I mean? I mean safe that no explosion can take place. I don't mean safe for entry. So this is it and in regards to this valve here, this valve is here in order to connect the uh, main um, line of the vapour with this part of the vapour and this is done in order to proceed with the draining and purging procedures. Draining is not required on the vapour line because it's vapour but purging is required and the oxygen content and the limits for methane have to be as per our policy checklist has to be below the limits in order to disconnect the uh, the arms. The below part here, these two valves, are the ones which you require to uh, flush, to purge and to make your measurements on. 
So below there, we may put our uh, GMI, our portable explosive uh, instrument, and measure the atmosphere inside the line. Hey, I'm here at liquid arm number two. And the only thing that has a difference with the vapor arm is that this arm here, one, two, three, and four, has a safety relief valve. This safety relief valve will operate at 10 bars. And what will happen? In case LNG is trapped inside here, this will open and of course will discharge the pressure towards cargo tanks number two and three. So it's good to know something which you might not know is that the uh, hose, in order to get connected, you just plug it in and of course you operate the valves, both of them, one and two, in order to purge inside the nitrogen. <laughs> As you may see, every arm has a fixed small davit. This is to be used in order to connect and disconnect the STPs. The STPs are very heavy, so that's why you will need to use small davits which are located on every arm. What you actually do is you align the crane exactly above the STP lifting point right here and then with the uh, chain block you will pick it up a little bit and take the uh, weight and then you will start unloosing the bolts so one day i will make a video in regards to that and you will see further how this is done hey guys if you like the content of this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course comment below if there's something additional you would like to know about the manifolds do not hesitate to write it down so till next time Cheerio. Bye-bye.